A champion of the poor, an enemy of corrupt and a pious figure, that is how Iran's new president portrays himself. Ultra-conservative cleric Ibrahim Raisi was inaugurated as the president of the West Asian country. Ibrahim Raisi is taking over from President Hassan Rouhani, leading a hardliner regime that will rule the country. He was elected in June to replace Rouhani in a vote in which other high-profile candidates were barred from standing. Raisi was officially endorsed by the country's supreme leader. He is set to become the eighth president of the Islamic Republic of Iran. Raisi will take oath as the president on the 5th of August. The state ceremony will be attended by representatives of Iran's allies across the world. He will then have one week to present his cabinet at the parliament for a vote of confidence. Lawmakers will then vote for approval of or rejection of Raisi's nominees. It's unclear whether he will retain some members of Rouhani's nuclear negotiating team or bring in officials who worked under Mahmoud Amdahinjad. Now, Raisi and Iran find themselves at crossroads. The hardliner is taking office at a time when discontent is running high in the country. The economy is tanking, sanctions are crippling and even loyal supporters are looking for reforms. For now, economy remains Raisi's Achilles heels. From core supporters to working class, everyone is feeling the, feeling the galloping inflation. Now, prices of basic goods like breads, Rice are rising daily. Anger is growing over the rise in poverty. Iran's clerics fear a revival of street protests. No one knows that better than Ibrahim Raisi himself. And during his inauguration speech, he pledged to make the economy a priority. ضرورت رفع مشکلات اقتصادی و اجتماعی و فرهنگی جامعه بود اینها پیامه هایی بود که مردم عزیزمون با رأی خودشون دادند و خواستند از دولت برخواسته از رأی مردم The message on election. It's not just the economy that Raisi has to worry about. On top of his priorities is a crippling water shortage problem in Iran's Khuzestan province. People have been taking to the streets as water in taps run dry and rainfall is scarce amid soaring heat. Security forces have dealt with these protesters with a heavy hand. Reports say that the government wants to prevent these protests from spreading, but the violence has only angered the protesters further. Precipitation has decreased by almost 50% in the last year, leaving dams with dwindling water supplies. The shortage of water has also had a ripple effect on power generation. The drought has left Iran's dams with less water to generate electricity. With power supply failing, it could lead to more blackouts. This comes as houses in Iran have been struggling with a power shortage. Some protesters even called for the death of the supreme leader. The protests in Khuzestan come as Iran struggles with the fifth wave of the pandemic. Iran is the epicenter of the COVID-19 pandemic in West Asia. Daily COVID-19 caseloads have hit a record high. Lockdowns were imposed in several districts to curb the spread. Vaccination rates are also dismal in the country, with only 2.3 million people fully vaccinated from a population of 83 million. Officials have blamed the U.S. sanctions for hampering efforts to buy foreign vaccines and delays in deliveries. Now the country is administering its homegrown vaccines to its citizens. Ayatollah Ali Khamenei received a second dose of a homegrown COVID-19 vaccine, lauding the domestic production of the vaccine. <laughs> به ملت ایران و مسئولین کشور یادآوری میکنه که ما بایستی در همه مسائل بتوانیم روی پای خودمون بیستیم و تکیه به دیگران مشکلاتی به وجود میاره که ما که در این قضیه هم مشکلاتی به وجود آورد البته چاره ای نداشتیم در کنار تولید داخلی ناچار بودیم و هستیم که از تولیدات کشورهای دیگر هم تو مهدی که 
قابل اطمینان هست استفاده کنیم و استفاده خواهیم کرد Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.